everybody. That was silly. I asked a question in the community tab a little bit ago, asking what kind of videos do you guys want to see from me? Like, what would be something that you would dig or you want to see me do more of? And um, one response I got was more songwriting videos, like how to write songs, how to do that, the whole deal. And so I thought I would do that. Now, the first thing about that is, is that in order to um, write a song, if you are going to write music, because if you just want to write lyrics, I mean, just write poetry or just write like rhyming lines and we could talk about how many to do and all that stuff. And that's might have been what the question was asking. But I figured we would do a quick overview of kind of music theory, if you will. When I used to teach um, bands, like when I would put together bands and teach them how to play and teach them all that stuff, I've talked about that before. This is kind of like day one shit that I'm gonna be going over with you guys, and it's really fucking easy, okay? It's not difficult at all. And if you have a guitar at home and you've never played it before, or maybe you have a guitar and you used to play it years and years ago, but haven't yet, or haven't in years or whatever, go grab it, pause the video, go grab it, and come back, because we're gonna go over some really fucking basic shit. And if you could nail these basic things, being able to play stuff, and more importantly, being able to come up with shit, is going to be really fucking easy for you. We're using the guitar as an example just because it's a very basic songwriting tool. And it's very easy to play. Um, and you can have a lot coming out with it. As opposed to like if I, like I was teaching you how to like write songs on the bass. Which is very easy to do as well. But you don't get like the... Like you don't get the big thing that you would get with a guitar. This is what we're going to do. And I could teach you how to do it on a piano, but I don't really know how to play piano very well. So that would be kind of stupid. So with the guitar, first things first. And I'm trying to hold it so you can see all of it. Um, but, you know, we'll, we'll see how this goes. And I realized, um, because I normally am not looking at this part of my guitar from this view, um, this typical, or this brand of guitar here, doesn't have the um, dots on the fretboard. So um, it has the guide up here for it, but it doesn't have them down here. So um, when I say these things and I'm like, well, the dot and blah, 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 you guys are gonna be like, what the fucking dot? What's he talking about? If you have a guitar in front of you, you will know what I'm talking about. Okay, so first off, the strings. On a typical guitar, there are six strings. And they are E, A, D, G, B, E. So it starts with E and ends with E. Those are the, um, the notes that the open guitar does, okay? And mnemonic phrases are pretty good. Um, I, I would say come up with your own so you could remember it, but like, um, I always come up with a different one every time I do it. So, um, Every astronaut deserves gold bars every day. That wasn't that bad. That was actually a kind of a good one. Every astronaut deserves gold bars every day. E-A-D-G-B-E. -E. Every astronaut deserves gold bars every day. Boom. That was really good. Congratulations, me. We did great. Okay. So those are the strings. So now when I'm talking about stuff, I'll say the E string, the D string, the G string, and stuff like that. Um, just so you guys know what I'm talking about. Next, the notes are important here. So every string, so E, if you go down to the 12th fret, which is the double dot fret um, on most fretboards, if you go down to the 12th fret, that note is the same note as the string that it's on, but an octave higher. So um, this is E open, and this is E on the 12th fret. 
And you could do a harmonic here, which is just barely putting your finger on it. Okay. So now that we know every 12th fret is the octave, we could go on to the next bit. Now, when you do a power chord, power chords are very simple chords that like most, most like music is based on, unless it's like, and we're not gonna talk about open chords. We're gonna talk about bar chords or these where you have every string covered. A power chord is usually only two strings, like, but a lot of times people do three. The reason why people do three is because that third string is going to be the same note as the top string. It's basically the same thing as going down to the 12th fret down here on the octave. So if I were to do a power chord of E, open E, if you listen to this, it should sound the same as this. Okay, so you start finding where all of these same notes are on the fretboard. And I, this might sound kind of crazy right now, but as we go, um, this will get easier and you'll start finding it. And it's the same. So if I was playing a G power chord, this G is the same as this G. Okay, if I was doing an A, 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 A. Same thing. And so we'll talk about that in a second too, a little bit more. So every 12th fret from up here, that's the octave. And then on a power chord, the third string in your power chord is gonna be the same note as your root note, which is the top one you play. So that's your root note. Okay, the next thing is, um, and yeah, we'll do this one first. So when you're going down here, the next thing to know is that every fifth fret, which is the second dot on your fretboard, every fifth fret is the same note as the string below it. Or it's supposed to be. That's a little out of tune, but I don't know which string. That's a little bit better. Now, the other thing with this, remember when I was doing the harmonic down here? You could tune your guitar by doing the harmonics on these like little you hear that it like wobbles that's how you could tune it wobble okay so there's that so every fifth fret is going to be the same note as the string below it so on the fifth fret on the e it's the a okay the string below it is the a the next string is the A, we just talked about that. You go down to the fifth fret, okay? The string, that's a D, and the string below it is D, okay? The next one is a D, I just said it. Fifth fret, G, G. Now, we're gonna come to a problem here because we don't go to the fifth fret to get to the next note. We only go to the fourth fret to get to the next one. And that's because it's a B. And you're like, what the fuck does that mean? Who cares? And then we go to the fifth fret again to get E. But right here, we go to the fourth fret. Oh wait, oops. There we go. We go to the fourth fret. That's weird, why is that? This is the reason. <clears throat> now, some people say this different ways, but this is what it is, okay? Every note on here has a sharp or a flat. And depending on how you were taught and what how you learn to play, you will use one or the other. People rarely use both. So what this means is in between your notes, there is going to be a in-between note. And that's usually like a sharp or it could be called a flat. There are two notes that do not have sharps or flats. Those two notes are E 
and B. And some of you are going, bullshit, there's B flat. I fucking know B flat. It's right here. That's a B fucking flat. You can call it B flat if you want, but you could also call it A sharp. And there you go. Um, that's why um, the whole, uh, that thing on The Simpsons, when um, they started their acapella group, it was called the B sharps. Um, it was like a play that there's no, okay, whatever. So I'm going to go down the neck here and show you where all these notes are. So open E is an E. E, and there's no sharp here, so we're going to go straight to F as the first fret. Then we have F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, no sharp, straight to C, C sharp, D, D sharp, and then we're at the 12th fret. So what note is that? E. Okay, we just keep coming back to that. So the reason why this one, we have to go to the fourth fret down here when we're doing that tuning thing is because eventually, because there are no sharps for an E and a B, you end up doing that. Um, now, that might seem kind of deep right now, and you're like, what the fuck, sharps? and what? Uh, there's too much going on right now. Just play this back a couple times and you could figure this out. It's not it's not rocket science by any means. If I could fucking figure this out, you guys could figure this out. That being said, that is the notes of the guitar. So once you get through that, and you know how I was doing the E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A? So since this is A and it's the fifth fret, the string below it is going to be A. Very good. So A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, because there's no sharp, F sharp, G, G sharp, and the 12th fret is going to be what? A. There you go. So now you know how to get from point A to point B to hit all these notes. Now the other thing to learn, especially if we're going super basic and doing power chords, is to know what, and I can't remember what this is called. Some of you watching this might already know what this is called, and you could like let me know down there. But whenever you're doing a power chord, so you have your root note. So in this example, let's just do the, uh, is that better to see? No, let's just do this. So we're going to do a G power chord right here, okay? So the G root note. And the third string is also G, so we have this. But what's this one? What's this note? That is, um, I can't remember what to call it. Let's call it the middle note, because I can't remember the actual word for it. You need to know what the middle note is on all your power chords, because when you do that, you know kind of where you are in the scale. And we'll talk about scales in a little bit. They're not as scary as it sounds. So with a G power chord, that middle note's a D. So if you're playing bass, and especially if you like country music, especially old country music, like real country music, you're going to hear this a lot. Like when people are playing bass, they'll go. See what I'm saying? It's like this walk. But the middle note, that always comes up in these old bass lines. And even in doo-wop, they do it a lot. In, um, I don't know if they do it that much in blues. Maybe they do. You kind of have those walks in blues. So know what those notes are because you will always have to do it. So if you're doing it in E, it's going to be B. If you do it in F, it's going to be C. If you do it in F sharp, it's going to be C sharp. G, D, G sharp, D sharp, A, E, uh, A sharp, um, F, uh, what is this, B, and then that would be, um, let's see, that was F sharp. Oh, wait, no, F sharp. B is F sharp. Um, C is G because that's where we were up there. Um, and then this is C sharp, and so this would be G sharp. And then this would be, I'm getting confused. I'm confusing myself now already. 
Oh yeah, so this is D, and so this would be A, um, D sharp, A sharp, and then we're back to E and B, okay? So sorry that was so fucking confusing. I got fucked up there. So that's that. So we know what those notes are all the time on all the things we're doing. Now it's not important to know those notes, but it's good to know what those notes are. Because when music sounds good, it's because they're in a scale. And so if you've ever heard of the major scale, I'll show you right now. It's so that was the major scale. That one was the G major scale because I played it in G. Now, if I moved it to A, it would be the A major scale. Now, you don't need to know how to play the scale right now. That's not what I'm trying to tell you to do. What I'm trying to tell you to do is that the first five notes in that major scale, okay, those first five notes, those are usually going to be what every song is played, whatever the root note of the uh, chord progression is going to be, okay? So what that means is, so Louie Louie, that is like probably the most famous song ever in the history of the world besides Happy Birthday. So Louie Louie is a one, four, five, because, and I talked about this before too, if we're doing the G major scale, so G is the one, a is the two, B is the three, C is the four, and D is the five. Because that's the, those are the first five notes of that scale. So if you went to go jam with some people and they're like, hey, um, we're going to be doing, um, and I don't know if people really do this anymore, but like I learned this shit. Okay, let me, let me explain this. I tried teaching myself how to play guitar and bass. I tried doing stuff. I took some guitar lessons, didn't really learn a lot. I was picking up books of tablature, trying to learn stuff, trying to figure it out. And then one summer, I went to go visit my family in Florida. And they were all shrimpers, and they had like a bluegrass band, and they would play on the weekends while they have a big fish fry and shrimp explosion and all this other shit. And so when I went there, they're like, hey, um, our bass player is not here and you play bass. Can you play bass with us? And I'm like, oh, I don't know how to play any of the songs you're going to play. And they're like, oh, it's cool. We'll just tell you what to do. And so they would go, um, we're going to do a one, four, five and A. And I'd be like, what the fuck is he talking about? And he's like, you know, one, four, five. And I'm like, oh, OK. And so that weekend, actually just that day playing with that band like that, like, okay, you're playing. So now go, I learned more that day than I had in the previous, like six years of trying to figure out how to play. And this is how they did it to me. They're like, okay, we're going to do um, a one, three, five and a, so here we go. So that's like Louie Louie. Let's do it in G because I think that's what Louie Louie is actually in. So it's like, And you could go, oh, that's Wild Thing. Okay, sure, it's Wild Thing too. But it's a million fucking songs. So many songs use that progression. So it's the one, four, five. And I'm just gonna start playing different stuff. So like. I'll go back, it's okay. Oh no. Oh my gosh, we're gonna have a big drop. What's happening now? Well, now I'm gonna stay in this scale, but I'm gonna do other shit for no reason. I mean, you're doing the exact same notes, but I'm playing it in a different way because now this is like a chorus or something, or a bridge, let's say. And then let's say, let's do, Oh yeah, let's do this. So I'm gonna do a different note. I'm gonna add a note to it. So I added the three. I added the three in there. 
and it sounded good. It sounded like, ooh, that's kind of, that's fun. Like, so if you know like what um, your which of the five notes you're going to be playing in whatever scale and you could do that anywhere like it could be any fucking thing um, then you have yourself a fucking song and so it, it gets kind of tricky when you start going backwards with it instead of down so what I mean by that is like if we were doing D and I wanted to do like the basic like rock and roll doo-wop song so like That progression is like a million different songs, okay? But so that would be D. And then, so we're doing that. So that would be... So that'd be one... What is that? Three. Four, five. So that would be, I guess, like this. Like, if I went to D right here... So you just play it in a different way. but So that was like a one, three, four, five. And so we're just skipping the two. But then when we like need to do like a bridge or a change up in it, we could go to what the two would be, which would be an E. So let's say I'm going. do that because it's in the progression so you can do anything you want and then a lot of people will do things where like if they're trying to make their stuff a little creepy like they'll do like they're playing and so instead of just going I'll go like you hit one of those in between bits and it's not great to do all the time, but it like it sets you off. You're like, oh shit, what happened there? Like, so I'm doing this, I'm doing this, I'm doing this. But now I want to change it up. It's like it sets you off a little bit, but doing those half step notes it's like oh what the fuck was that so anyway that was a ridiculously all over the place video trying to give you basics on the fundamentals of how to play guitar and how to do that stuff if you enjoyed this let me know and i'll do more stuff like this but if you didn't then just maybe like the video and move on um you don't need to leave a comment you don't need to tell me that you'd hate me no, i'm just kidding but anyway, so I appreciate the comment. Let me know what else you guys want to see me do. If you have any questions about songwriting specifically, if you have any questions about how to play guitar specifically, let me know what those things are. If you want me to just break down all the parts of a fucking guitar, whatever you guys want to do, tell me, let me know. We can talk bass if you want. We can even do drums. If you guys want to learn how to play drums and don't have a drum set? I can help you. Let me know what you want to do down below. Talk to you later. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon, I appreciate the hell out of you guys and thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew or the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.